Hello and welcome back. Almost finished with the episode 5 of season 2 of The Walking Dead. If I don't finish this, then I'll make a next part. She's awake. Hey, you. Clem! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusty shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? You never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? What the fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is something... <laughs> Me? It could take <laughs> us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what. We could turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. Leave him alone, Jane. No, Clem, it's fine. Let her run her mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. He can't talk back yet. Fuck you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have Diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny. A fucking asshole. God. I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. 
You're just like him. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there! Wow, it's snowy outside. Sucks to have to abandon the truck. Oh, the baby's gone! Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? 
Jane, where is he? Oh my god. He's... What are you saying? No. No! No. Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. How could you let this happen? You have to trust me. We're gonna see what he really is. I think he stabbed her in the heart. He's gone, Clem. She... She just... How could she do that? Oh, Jesus. He's gone. He's... Are you okay? Looks like I'm, I didn't finish the part on time. I'm gonna have to make the next part, final part. Wait, there's a baby? No! I'm right behind you. So Jane was hiding her, him the whole time in the car to make Candy mad. How could she? Alright, I'm actually going to stop by here, and I will see you in the next part.